Roger, thank you very much again. So, um, okay, you can see on my slides, less slides, more content on the page. So, try to convey the same amount of information as all of us do here. Now, um, Expander the feed mill, I think you know Expander, um, it's installed usually on top of a pallet mill. When you come to the traditional application, it's also used for others. But the main application is installation on top of a pallet mill. So, and we see with the use of an expander, we see a better pallet quality, and we see also a much higher capacity of the pallet mill. On the other hand, we also see a very efficient salmonella elimination, and we see a very good, a very, very good increase on the feed um, digestibility. So, and this opens also very interesting saving potentials. Um, so, in the industry, we all talk about PDI. Now, we want to get for the market pellets as high as possible. Yeah? So, with the expander, you can make easily 98% uh, PDI pellet quality and easily 20 to 30% higher pellet mill capacity. So, with the existing setup, installing an expander, you can performing a better pallet quality and increasing the capacity of the pallet mill line. For duck feed and also some of the broiler feeds, we even double the capacity with the use of an expander. And that's what you, with a standard, with a steam conditioner, even when you have the so-called super conditioners, this is out of reach. For this performance, the expander is the right choice. So, um, on top, you see the line five to six US dollar saving. Where does this come from for the broiler feed? For example, you increase the digestibility, the digestible calorific value in the animal feed when you process the feed with an expander by 50 to 70 kilocalories. And now you can say, okay, maybe my bird grows faster, but we have to consider the genetics are not that easy anymore to to improve just the, the gain on the bird. So what we see today, our customers, they optimize the formulation again. So for example, take out vegetable oil. In many countries, vegetable oil is very expensive. And then this replaced, will be replaced, for example, by corn, which has a lower energy level compared to the oil. So in the end, we have again the same amount of feed, but we have exchanged some of the expensive oil by cheaper maize. So, and this is a very interesting saving potential, five to six US dollars per ton of feed produced. You can also save the money on um, acidifiers because of the salmon, uh, yeah, hygienic treatment. Yeah. And, um, in the first presentation, we heard, okay, you need to make the right decisions in the early phase. So in an expander, for sure, when you consider it, has a significant potential for saving on your line. Um, here we see Escheria coli bacteria after expander treatment. And I don't show you now the, the healthy version. This is the destroyed version of the of the bacteria, so under the microscope. So you see the, the bodies are fully deformed, um, exploded, and this means this bacteria is dead. So it is a very significant uh, treatment for hygienic uh, purpose. Um, another field of application for the for the expander technology is the component treatment. So we have uh, many expanders installed with the big um, names in the industry for component treatment, for example, for full fat soya treatment, uh, also for, for you know, starch gelatinization in corn. Uh, but the main, uh, main application here is the reduction of the, of the trypsin inhibitor. Yeah. And uh, for the, for the for the piglet feed. And those who are familiar with this, we have uh, when the piglet uh, starts to, yeah, have, to be, have to change from the, from the mother sow, liquid feeding, milk feeding, to the solid 
feet. It's a very, we are for the piglet a very you know, dangerous situation, a very um, let's say stress situation, because now um, to change the complete uh, digestion um, is, is very, we yeah, are very demanding. So in here, it's really helpful to support this phase with a well-treated feed so that the piglet can absorb this easily and has no stress on the digestion system. And here, for example, the trypsin inhibitors are not so welcome because this has a significant negative impact on the digestion. So, and that's why in the full-fat soya, and many people also treat the soybean extraction meal again with expander and cooking to reduce the trypsin inhibitor levels. So for example, here to TIA, trypsin inhibitor activity, smaller three. And on the other hand, we want to achieve a good <laughs> protein digestibility so that we don't overtreat it. No? We can reduce trypsin inhibitors simply by a lot of temperature, but then your proteins are also denatured too much, and then you have again stress on the digestion. So, and that's why an expander treatment with a good cooking gives you this very satisfying results here. On the other hand, also this treatment reduces allergic abilities in the feed. For example, the conglycinin is reduced and um, we have no Maillard reaction. So, and um, we have customers who use the line multipurpose. They also run corn and wheat mixtures, some also DDGS and others. Yeah, and then here for, for a high starch gelatinization, for a reasonable high starch gelatinization, which is used in the in the piglet and in the pig in these three feet. So again, that brings me to the end. Thank you very much. Any questions? Thank you.